So many of you have seen these oracle decks that are around spirit animals or totem animals. A whale means this, a fox means that, and I was thinking to myself, there are all these creatures that exist in the non-physical that actually interact with humans quite a bit, whether they know it or not, that people just don't know about. <laughs> like, way more than are manifested physically on Earth. You may run into these creatures when you are astral traveling. You may run into them when you're out of body. You may run into them when you're on a medicine journey. Or if you're like me, you just grew up seeing them everywhere. So I decided to bring these straight to you, and I specifically selected the ones that apply to human consciousness, because there's all kinds of ether creatures that don't really interact with human consciousness at all. But there are many that do, and there are many that were in fact created by the consciousness of mankind. So that we could have a little fun with this today, I decided that I would draw a card for those of you who will be watching this right now. That means you. And what we drew was the Yironi, but in reverse. Just like a tarot deck, it matters which way you draw these, in reverse or straight up. So having drawn the Yironi in reverse, I'm going to tell you what that means. But this is a creature that has a very interesting symbiotic relationship with this plant that it is holding. And also with... Let's say a creature they use to farm that plant. Okay, if the Yarona have appeared to you in reverse, you need to differentiate in the situation at hand. This situation calls for autonomy. You must define your unique feelings, thoughts, preferences, aversions, needs, desires, and personal truth. In the current situation, you may be losing touch with yourself. You are most likely becoming enmeshed in the situation in some way. This does not mean that you should push anyone or anything away. It simply means that you need to redefine you in this situation and act accordingly. Become clear on things like, how do I really feel? What do I really think? What do I really want? The Ironi is not here to teach differentiation. And so he tends to turn his back when people struggle with being constantly trapped between their own and other people's thoughts, feelings, needs, and wishes. Between the personal truth of the other and their own personal truth. Chances are high that this is the struggle that you are currently in. They also can appear in reverse if you have slipped into powerless dependency. You need to know that you're not alone, that the universe is telling you that you can depend on others. It's not that you can't depend on others. The situation has nothing to do with whether you can or can't rely on them to meet your needs because we live in an interdependent universe, right? where our needs come to us through other people and things. But that does not mean that you're powerless, right? A lot of people who are in that state of dependency, they decide that they're powerless. And yeah, your own eye in reverse is coming to say, no, you're not. So this time you're being asked to develop a healthy sense of boundaries and then learn to have a self within the context of relationship without resorting to either codependent or narcissistic strategies. You're looking to establish your own feelings, thoughts, needs, wants, personal truths, while recognizing that other people also have the same thing, their own wants, needs, personal truths, and feelings. The Ironi, in reverse, asks you to establish a strong sense of self in the situation you're in in order to stand on a space of authenticity and autonomy. This is the only way to make the right choice for yourself and do the right thing in the situation at hand. Living an authentic and autonomous life is dependent upon living in alignment with your personal truths, your thoughts, your feelings, preferences, all those good things. The good news is the outcome that you've been looking for in this situation is on the other side of doing so. It's officially out, you guys.